Hey everyone, welcome back to the garage shim, the very cold garage shim. That's why I have the neck cap on. Today we're gonna to perform or try to perform some form correction using the X3 bar. Today we're gonna to demonstrate it on chest press, on shoulder press, and on tricep extensions because my wrist positioning, my wrist angle has been all wrong on the most of the workouts. This thing I underestimate on how tough it is to keep that proper form, especially on my wrist. Of course, we're gonna keep ourselves accountable. I have right here the GoPro, which is gonna show my wrist as I'm moving with the chest press, with the shoulder press, and the tricep extension. Am I gonna get it perfect? Probably not, but it should be an improvement. I'm much more aware of it. Thank you to each and every one of you out there who commented about that. I knew it, but I was using it organically as I was going along and recording it, much like this video. So let's get started. Here we have the X3 bar. I gotta watch my ponytail. So if you have longer hair, that's a little bit of a hazard using it. And this is the second lightest band that I'm using right now. It's still very, very tough. I'm not, I haven't even unwrapped the, uh, the black band. I haven't even gotten the elite band. We're not up to that yet. So let's get our wrist on the inside here and make sure that we can see my wrist. Yes, we can. See, I go thumbs over a lot of times and I don't know if that's the best way to go, but for my wrist, it seems to work, but I'll go fully over with my thumbs right there. I'm gonna get the band a little bit higher and I'm gonna perform sort of like a decline press as Dr. J says to do. So let's see, we got it right there and let's go. We got two mirrors to help us and let's just take our time. Snap. See, I lean in a little bit. I'm not even really counting reps, I'm just going to failure. I'm gonna make sure, yep. You're not gonna have to worry about a GoPro. Let me keep that tension on there. See my wrist, there we go. I think those first few reps were not correct. Oh, I can feel it. I want to shorten the reps a little bit. Ugh. I still feel in my triceps and shoulders a little bit. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, that's it. All right, we're gonna go shoulder press that. Woo, that got me, that got me, that got me. Let's go to shoulder press, take a little bit of a break, come back. We already have shoulder press set up with the foot plate on the lighter band. And let's do that and get reset with our GoPro as well. All right, here we are doing shoulder press. And like I said, we have the lightest band here. I'm gonna flip this over. This one I do do thumbs over for some reason. It seems to just really help. And normally I would face the mirror, but for the sake of this video, I'll face you guys. But I wanna make sure I'm good. And here we go. See my wrist, yep. Head through the window. Get that band around there. This is the one of the things about the X3 bar, the short bar, is my wrist, the outside of my hand and wrist. Probably would like the longer bar better, but I can see why they recommend this one or include it in the base package but I can feel the outside of my wrist and my hand going up against that hook. It doesn't feel super comfortable. Ugh. That pause killed me. Ugh. Breathing's off. This doesn't take a lot. That's it, wow. Whew. 
man, <laughs> heart rate's up there. So take a little bit of a break, take a drink, make sure the GoPro's on, and then tricep extensions. But I'm having a great deal of difficulty keeping that wrist neutral like that. It always wants to bend back. I got to fight it, get in the best position. And the shoulder presses, definitely with the outside of my wrist right here and my hand hitting that hook, just not very comfortable. I mean, there's a lot more benefits to the engineering and design of a bar, but that's the one point for taller people like me with longer arms. It tends to really hit that outside wrist bone right here. So let's switch it up, do tricep extensions, and then we're done. I know some people say, why don't you just do triceps right afterwards since you're essentially in the same position? It's because my triceps are equally as fried from a chest press. So I kind of need the uh, break. And usually we throw legs in there, but my back is hurt right now. I got a back injury from kettlebell swing. So, but we're going to dedicate a review to the belt squat accessory from X3, do split squats, try to do belt squats with it. So look for that. That'll be coming up very soon after my back heals a little bit more, but the band workout should definitely help it too. So here we are with, once again, thumbs are up a little bit because I like to do triceps like that. Uh, so we'll see how it is. Also, I'm trying to get the band up higher so I can push down a little bit more. Here we go right here. This is one of my favorite exercises. And I know you can use a heavier band and kind of like from sliding bench trainer demonstrates the push down, but I like the skull crushers or throat crushers or extensions right here that you can do. So let's do this here. It's a failure. So my wrist is really in a weird position. I'm gonna go thumbs over, see if that helps. That helps a little bit. I've always had that problem with my wrist positioning. Let's get that in there. There you go. You won't have to worry about a GoPro. <laughs> All right, so those reps, I guess don't count them. So let's do it again. Get it up here. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Good enough, get the here. Now what I can do too, which is probably what I'm gonna do, is bring my hands in right here to really line them up so my elbows stay in. That's one that way I corrected last time, I remember now. There we go. Wow. It's not gonna take a lot. There we go. Oh. oh man, wow. Heart rate is up there. Failure is getting, even with the same band, as I do these workouts, because I started with the six days a week, which could have been very ambitious, but I am failing very, very quickly on these exercises now. Maybe I gotta take a longer rest in between. A lot of people say three to five minutes, uh, but I don't do that. I do maybe a minute to 90 seconds at times, probably take a longer rest because my triceps are still fried from the chest press and the shoulder press probably. So. Yeah, that was an indication that I didn't rest long enough, but hopefully I did correct or try to correct or get a little bit better with my form, my wrist positioning on those exercises. I know they weren't perfect, but I just gotta be mindful. And of course, having a GoPro right here <laughs> doesn't help for ergonomics. So, uh, but once again, even without the GoPro, that would be the one negative of this short bar uh, is my wrist being up against that no matter what with these pressing movements, not so much the tricep, I could bring it in like that, but it is one minor negative with the short bar. But I understand once again, the size of the foot plate matches the size of this bar, so I get that. Uh, we're gonna have a full updated review on the X3 bar system, but as I use it, as my form gets better, and like I said, the accessories, like the belt squat, we're gonna have dedicated reviews, so you have the most amount of information 
if you do decide to get this. If you do decide to purchase, there will be a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, helps us out and helps support the channel. But as I use it more, I can recommend it. And I know it's not cheap, but I can see the quality in this and I can see the benefit for most people using this, especially the one set, 10 minutes a day. For me, I love being in the gym, but I've tried to stick to the one set to failure mentality and I've really been enjoying using the X3 bar. So that's about it. God bless each and every one of you. Stay warm and have a great day.